This show is a way to give back. It's a charity what I do. It's my job as somebody who's wiser than everyone else to reach out to, you know, people like you and help you through important things, important things like the holidays. So I, I take no pleasure in saying what I'm about to say, but you need to hear it. You've likely been doing Thanksgiving wrong your entire life. What is Thanksgiving? It's a time to come together for a few hours, put down your phones, and eat. Frankly, what's more important than eating? It's a lot better than spending time with family. So it's supposed to be a special occasion about food. And you've all been eating disgusting food the entire time. Oh, Jesse, you haven't, you haven't had my turkey. Turkey sucks. Do you know how I know turkey sucks? Because you walk into a restaurant a whole bunch of times throughout the year with all kinds of menu options, and never once do you sit down and look at that menu and say, you know, I'll have the turkey. Never once do you drive home and call the missus on the way and say, honey, I'm on the way home. Boy, I got a craving for turkey. Because turkey's horrible. It's dry, gutter trash meat. And don't give me these responses that I know I'm going to get them. You've never had my grandma's Cajun deep fried wrapped in bacon turkey. Buddy, you could wrap a jock strap in bacon and deep fried and it would be delicious. That doesn't mean turkey's good. So put away your turkey. It sucks. Put away your mashed potatoes. I hear this. Oh, well, yeah, mashed potatoes are delicious. Mashed potatoes are the lowest form of potato. You've taken something that could have been a, a scallop or even better, a French fry or a tater tot and you've turned it into hot mush. It's disgusting. Oh, that green bean casserole that you think everybody loves? They're all lying to you. All the leftovers get thrown in the trash immediately the next day. And the best part of your traditional Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie, it sucks too. I mean, it's okay, it's halfway edible, but if you were to stand in front of a shelf and you're looking at cookies and cobblers and pies and cakes and everything else, how far down that list would you have to get before you picked the pumpkin pie out of the list? Really, really, really far, and you know it. You see, what you are is a slave. We've outlawed slavery in this country, so stop being a slave to tradition. Some traditions are meant to be broken. They used to have traditions all over the world that involved killing children. Well, we still do it Planned Parenthood, but that's another story. It is time to make Thanksgiving great again. It's time to make Thanksgiving special again. So let me tell you what should be on your Thanksgiving menu this year so you don't have to suffer through an entire day of pretending like the turkey doesn't suck. First of all, tenderloin. Not just the regular old steak, not a T-bone. Go down to your local butcher and have them saw you off a four or five pound tenderloin, depending on how many people are going to be there, at least 48 hours prior to Thanksgiving. Then come up with a delicious marinade. I marinate that bad boy. When Thanksgiving Day comes, when everyone else is trying to base their turkey into something that tastes decent, you slide that tenderloin with the marinade in the oven and pull it out about an hour, hour and a half later, and then eat on it for the rest of the week. Number two, salad. Now, am I endorsing salad? Of course not, but look, we all know the wife is gonna make everybody eat some kind of green on Thanksgiving day, or at least pretend you will. And she's gonna focus on the salad anyway, because that's what women do. So take a big bowl of salad and douse it with blue cheese dressing and eat a couple pieces of lettuce and say, oh, that's great, honey. I'm glad you suggested that, good call. And then move it to the side. Three, Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I know what you're thinking, Jesse, Red Lobster's too nice, I can't afford it, or it's too far away. Rest assured, I've got a solution for you. You can now buy Red Lobster's Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix right in your grocery store. Take that home, make it yourself. Finally, dessert's going to come along and everyone else across the country is gonna be like, oh, pumpkin pie, I've been really looking forward to this. And they're gonna run for the ready whip and try anything they can do to convince themselves that they're eating something other than sludge. You know what you'll be eating? You'll be eating a berry cobbler combined with homemade vanilla ice cream. As soon as the cobbler is done, pull it out of the oven, give it just a few minutes, don't give it too long, you need it piping hot, I'm going somewhere with this, and then get yourself a bowl, not a plate, get a bowl. Give yourself a generous scoop of the cobbler in it. Oh, I forgot to mention the top of your cobbler needs to be sugar cookies instead of the traditional crust. So you pile on the steaming hot cobbler into your bowl, 
Then you go to your homemade vanilla ice cream and put about five scoops of that on there and let the ice cream slowly start to melt until you have this ice creamy, crunchy, berry pile of deliciousness. And then you go pass out on the couch and Lord willing, watch the Dallas Cowboys lose on Thanksgiving Day. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think that sounds like just a little bit better of a meal than that crappy one you're probably going to roll out on Thursday? It is.